when working with main supply please use some common sense and take necessary precautions the main supply can be fatal if you're not careful enough and don't know what you do with that out of the way let's get started hi there i'm happy to see you after a long time three weeks i guess in the meantime i've been moving to a new shop i rented out this space and moved all the my equipments in the shop during this period of time so please expect a shop tour coming up soon today as a part of setting up the shop i am going to run electric cords in the room set up power sockets connect the ups to the power supply and i'm going to show you how i do all these things this is the luminous 875 va inverter this is a single cell inverter which means that i can connect only one battery to it at the back you can see the wire connections this is the input wire this socket connects to the ac supply and that charges your batteries these two wires connect to the batteries and this socket is the output socket this might change according to different models in some models a socket will be replaced by screw terminals where you just have to screw in your wires i'm standing barefoot and i can touch the ups battery and nothing will happen you can still see that the ups is even on but i can still touch it and nothing will happen what you have to notice is i'm not touching both the terminals together that is stupidity that is something that you shouldn't do now i have to remove these two wires to do that i will be using a cutting player like i said i am not going to touch these together and i am not even going to try it but if somebody has tried it over the internet or if you know the answers to that please put them in the comments usually the batteries are powered with high amperes and that's why when you connect the wire you get these sparks don't be scared it's perfectly normal this is the excite cube master tubular battery this is specifically made for inverters this can power up a room for about 4 hours and it comes with 36 wa months warranty no none of the products that i show here are sponsoring this video but i just thought it might help you if you know what the brand is all the batteries should be placed outside in a well ventilated area because this water you see i just filled up the battery with distilled water and you can see already some of them are coming out these are actually acid and it can be harmful if you inhale the fumes so it's better to keep them outside now i have kept the ups next to the battery and i've connected just the negative terminal to the battery here is the positive terminal which i'm going to connect right now I've run through two wires through my window which runs all the way to the inverter. This black wire is 1.5 mm 3 core wire. This will attach to the input wire of the inverter and this will charge the battery. Whereas the red wire will connect to the output of the inverter and then get connected to the MCB providing the output from the inverter. We don't need actually the negative cable because they are already connected through the charging cable and that's why sometime black cable or the negative cable is called as common and the same goes for the earth also both of them are connected so we don't need to actually use separate wires this saves on cable this is the common practice when a ups is connected to the main supply and i've done the same for my home also Here's the cable connected, and here's the output connected. I just uh, used a plug because it fits properly here, and it is tight. The wiring comes out of the window and runs all the way in the room, goes through the ceiling to the MCB. I'm here at the MCB, and here goes the positive rail and the negative rail from the mains. And when I switch on the power, it goes from here to here and then to the rest of the room. I have pulled out this yellow wire which is actually the main which was connected earlier here and here are the wires the three core wire which actually is going to charge the inverter and one output wire first let me go ahead and connect the earth wires by the way i have switched off the mains so i can touch any wire and nothing will happen 
and the negative wire gets connected along with the negative wire over here at the MCB. Just trying to find a place. And then finally I'll connect the positives together. The output that comes actually from the inverter will get connected now to the positive end of the MCB. I'll finally put some heat shrink tubes on to secure the connection. Let me explain you the connection one more time. The mains wire, the ground wire and the earth wire are now connected to the charging cable of the inverter. The output cable is now connected to the MCB. So when the power is on, the inverter bypasses the battery and directly connects the mains together. So the power runs from the positive rails, goes all the way to the inverter and then comes back as an output through this red wire into the MCB. And when the power is off, the same output is sent but then the battery power is fed into the MCB. And that's how the connection works. And before closing the board, I will do a test run. In this room, the tube light is off. Let me switch on everything. And I am going to go to the UPS and switch on the UPS and hopefully everything should work fine. It says the UPS is on. Here's power. By the way, the main is off. This is entirely running from the battery unit. I'm happy it works. This will power both the rooms which will usually have a computer or a 3D printer which consumes less amount of current. But if it was a bandsaw or a table saw, then I would have used 4mm wire. If you have stuck with me for so long, then let me give you a tip. Usually the battery and the inverter should be kept only one feet apart, not more than that. Because with the small thin wire, it takes a lot of energy for the inverter to pull the current from the battery. I learned this the hard way. Initially, I had kept the inverter near the MCB and it was almost 20 feet away from the battery and it did not work. So all my work yesterday was in vain and I learned the hard way that they should not be kept apart. So that's a small tip for you. Until next time, happy learning.